I'll explain this situation a little later. We came from the States to hike up Carantul in the McGillicuddy Reeks mountain range, and based on what we read and watched online to prepare ourselves, we were ready for a rainy and cold trek. Instead, we heard from nearly every Irish person we spoke to that after a summer of constant rain, it was the nicest day in months. We took what seems to be the most popular route, starting with a flat two and a half miles from Cronin's Yard, passing beautiful mountain lakes along the way. Then there's a half mile scramble up the Devil's Ladder. What do you think of the Devil's Ladder? It's a painful workout. It's a steep, rocky gully that practically turns into a waterfall when it rains. The rocks would have been pretty slippery when they're wet, and I think we would have turned around and not gone up any farther if it had been rainy. But the weather was perfect, and it took about an hour to get up this section. Finally, it was three quarters of a mile to the peak. Hello, hello. Terrific. So you just gotta go up there now. Yeah. There were plenty of people, mainly from Ireland along the way, but we also saw a few other Americans as well. Holy moly, very nice. It's amazing to me that the peak and much of the surrounding area is privately owned, and the trail is maintained by local volunteer groups. They do a terrific job of keeping the trail in good condition, which can't be easy with all the rain Ireland has. It was hard to head back because the views at the peak are phenomenal. Did you take the same route? Eventually we headed down to the saddle, then up and over Nachnatina to the cairn that marks the start of the zigzags. <coughs> then we went down the switchbacks to the final flat path to Cronin's yard. <coughs> which is when Joe decided to spice things up by tripping on a rock and giving himself a bloody nose. Joe being Joe, he had a first aid kit, and we stopped the bleeding before too long. <laughs> My baby's got a boo-boo. It was an unforgettable hike, and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a challenging hike in Ireland. And if you're thinking that the way this hike ended was the end of our fun in Ireland, think again. So. We're going up from the right side to the west side. We went to Port McGee to go to Skellig Michael, and although the seas were too rough for our planned trip to that island, we hiked around there for two days and saw beautiful sights. We hiked in and around Killarney National Park, And we went to Roscommon to check out the ancient burial mounds at Rathcrogan. So I can only say that if there's a moral to this story, it's that life is short. If you take a dive into the dirt and rocks, get up, shake it off, get back out there, and have a good time while you're at it. <laughs> we had the best time, and I'll see you on the next hike.